Hello everyone, and in this video, I will be going over indices. Now, right now, we're not using indices, of course, and we're passing in two extra vertex, two extra vertices for our quad to work, which it's okay for very small stuff like just a quad but when we're moving on to like bigger models and stuff it's going to take up too much room on our graphics card and so basically what an indice is is a pointer to our vertices so right now this one right here would be zero the one next to it would be 1. This one would be 2, 3, or not 6, 3, 4, and 5. These are all the, these would be the possible indices for these. Same applies for the texture coordinates. So, Let's go and impl let's go ahead and implement this and make it more memory efficient. So I'm going to start off opening up the model class and I'm going to create a new private int and I'm going to call this iid. So after we created this, we'll make the user pass in an integer array of indices. Otherwise, what would be the point of this variable? So, let's go ahead and initialize our iid here. And it's going to equal to gl gen buffers. So, we'll have to, of course, gl bind buffer. And it's not GL array buffer this time. This time, it's GL element buffer. And of course, our ID for the indices. Or GL element array. GL element array buffer. And of course, we'll pass in our data. So gl buffer data with the gl element array buffer. The data, I'll call it buffer for now. We'll have to initialize an integer buffer above. So, and the usage will of course be static draw. So just up above, you can do it above gl bind buffer if you wish we'll create an int buffer buffer and we'll have buffer utils create our int buffer for us with the indices dot length all we have to do now is put in the array of indices and flip the buffer There, now we have our data being passed into OpenGL. Before we move away from the constructor, let's go up to draw count. See how it's vertices.length divided by three when we're initializing draw count? Well, we're gonna be changing that now. This is going to be set to indices.length. This is, of course, the amount of triangles, or not the amount of triangles, but the amount of vert vertices that we will be drawing with. All right, now let's go down to the render method. And all we would have to do here is gl bind buffer, gl element, array buffer 
and of course our ID for the indices. Now get rid of, get rid of geo draw arrays. We're not going to be using it anymore. Instead, we'll be using gl draw elements. Now the first is going to be gl triangles. The second is going to be count. So we'll use our draw count. The third variable is going to be the, hold on, I need it to show me this one. All right, of course, GL triangles and the draw count. And the type will be GL unsigned int. And the indices offset will be zero. So that's all we need to do to draw the elements. And don't forget to unbind the element array buffer. And don't forget to do the same thing up in the constructor as well. All right, now that we are completely finished with the model class, we can go back into main. And all we have to do to make this fit right is to get rid of the second bottom right and get rid of the second top left, which will be at the bottom of your vertices. And go ahead and change that four to three. So now these are the valid indices that we can use. Do the same thing with texture. All right, now that we have finished with that, I'm going to create a new integer array. And I'm going to call it indices. And so now using what we can use up here, we'll start off with top left, which is zero. And then top right's one, and then bottom right is two. So this right here is drawing our first triangle. And now we'll start with bottom right again, bottom left, and top left. So now these sets of indices is drawing the other triangle to make our quad. And go ahead and add that semicolon at the end of the array. Now all that's left is to pass it in into our model. Go ahead and run. And now we are rendering our VBO with indices. In the next video, we'll be going over shaders. So I'll see you in the next video.